Hello everyone. Welcome back to the iRender channel. In this video, we're gonna do a render test with Maya Software and Vry Renderer. This test is done on the 8RTX 3090 server. Let's get started. We already have our iRender account, so before we start using the 8RTX 3090 server, we need to transfer our rendering file to the remote server by using GPU Hub Sync. Once uploaded successfully, we log into our iRender account. We'll utilize GPU rendering, so choose GPU Hub. Just create a new image with the 8RTX 3090 package if you do not have any images. Then boot the image which takes us about 5 to 10 minutes. When the server's state is running, iRender starts charging us at this step. To connect to the remote server, enter the credentials in the remote desktop file. Here, we're on the remote server. Install Maya software and Vry renderer first. Notice that you need to set up all software and applications for the server for the first time. They are stored and available for the next user session. Do you remember data transferred at the beginning of this video? It is synced with C drive in the remote server which is a network drive. Copy it to the desktop or C drive before rendering. Now, we open the project, do some settings with Vry Renderer, GPU Rendering. Setting the output path should be in the C drive as well to avoid getting corrupted. Then, click to render. Remember to save the output in desktop or C drive. When the rendering process is complete, we move the rendered output to Z drive. This step is to sync these images with GPU hub underscore sync to download later. To sum up, we rendered a Maya scene with Vry Renderer with the image size of 3840 and 2160. The render time is 1 minutes, 34 seconds, with a noise threshold of 0.01. That is the end of the video today, if you have something to add, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video. I render, happy rendering.